Okay, so here's a trial presentation for a game called Andromeda. My name is Ivan Falk, thank you for watching this video. Andromeda is an adventure game for one to six players, aged from 13 and above. Um, key characteristics of the game, well, it's played in campaigns uh, with chapters in each campaign. It, uh, playing time is uh, 30 to 120 minutes, depending on campaign or chapter you play. It's a cooperative game for most of the campaigns. It uh, contains a lot of adventure cards, uh, exploring the world with adventure cards. Uh, you've probably seen games like that before. Uh, it has a lot of character improvement, improvement in the game, so you build your character you know, and improve it. Uh, it has some uh, pretty clever dice mechanics, if I may say so, and also a fair bit of dice management, which is uh, the way to get good at this game. Unique selling points for the game, you, you learn the game by playing it. There's an introduction campaign that introduces the rules and also the world you play in. Um, the currency in the game is used for rerolls, which I think is pretty clever. Uh, and there's a, also a strong uh, story with an immersive world that you uh, play uh, in this game. So, uh, what's the story in the game? Well, uh, players are kids in the world. Uh, and they should, of course, save the world. From what you might ask, well, from the nefarious and mysterious Andromeda. Uh, she doesn't want to kill uh, humanity, but she wants to enslave them. Uh, she drains them of their will, turning them into uh, unknowing slaves. Uh, she can't do this herself, but she has so-called drainers, very strange creatures, uh, which only these players, the, the kids in the, in the game, can see. They drain the, the people's will through various means. Uh, she also has human helpers uh, called uh, quellers, uh, which have as goal to uh, stop the kids from using their imagination. Uh, the kids have their uh, stats being uh, mainly the um, uh, skills they have, six of them, and then also two stats called will, represented by flames, and imagination, represented by butterflies. When they lose will or imagination, they flip tokens to the gray side uh, as a symbolic way of, of showing how Andromeda is draining the color and adventure from the world. Uh, the players can also, of course, find uh, good stuff in the world. They can uh, meet uh, people and other interesting characters in the game, uh, find items, small useful items, or larger, uh, more useful items. They can equip themselves and, and grow stronger, uh, improve their skills, but also equip them with uh, useful items. And they can learn so-called imagination powers, allowing them to spend imagination to make different things happen in the world. So, the actual gameplay then. Well, the round is pretty basic. Uh, you roll, you move, you perform actions, and then you have something called Andromeda, Andromeda's Agenda that uh, advances each round. Um, when you move about on the board, well, uh, on the normal round spaces, the circle spaces, you draw a card and you resolve the card. And this is the smallest game loop. Uh, you do this, and then you move towards the square spaces where you can take special actions, which usually uh, involves things like uh, training uh, to improve your skills or, or learning new imagination powers or finding items, things like that. This, that's a more strategic loop of the game. Uh, we have a lot of use of 3D D6 in the game. You use them to move, you roll, and then you count the number of equals on the dice, so you can move one, two, three spaces each time. Uh, you use uh, skill checks frequently, so you add the dice with whatever skill and modifiers you have. If you exactly match the number required, then you have a perfect roll, which gives you three time stones, the currency in the game. Uh, if you get a triplet when you roll, uh, you level up if that triplet is, is above your skill, uh, current skill. Whenever you roll a straight, you have flow, or your character has flow, which gives you one time stone. And you may, at any time, spend the time stone to re-roll one die you have rolled. And that's the, the, the um, dice management skills here in the game. I mentioned the uh, Andromeda's agenda. At the, at the end of each round, uh, you move a dark crystal one to three steps on, on a scale, on a track here. And when it hits the bottom, all players lose one time stone each. If the track becomes filled, then the scenario end is triggered, which means uh, usually that the players lose, but it could be other things as well. Which brings us to the scenarios. There's an introduction campaign uh, consisting of five chapters, which, as I said, the last chapter is pretty long. The other one are, are very short. It introduces the world and the core rules and also unlocks new characters and so-called helpers, which I have to show you before this video ends. So uh, at the beginning, all the characters are the same. There are fewer options and fewer choices than in the full game. So uh, when you play the introduction game, you can select from another, uh, a number of different characters, 11 of them which have different stats, and to this you add a helper, which uh, modifies uh, will, imagination, and or skills. And choosing from these, you can then have different starting positions in the game. Um, apart from the introduction campaign, there's a, a, a pretty standard game called Andromeda Returns, uh, which you uh, can uh, see how well you did, uh, counting achievement points in the end. Uh, Bachelor in Distress, a, a three-chapter um, campaign. The grey clouds, uh, there are mysterious clouds uh, draining people of their will in, in the city and the players have to get rid of those uh, in, in pretty interesting ways. My favourite, The Dreamer Returns, you basically play the game backwards um, and you are also restricted uh, in a number of ways in what you can do. That's a solo game. Uh, so in Discord, that's a competitive version of this game and there's another a number of more uh, campaigns being uh, created uh, as we speak. Well, and uh, that was uh, a very brief introduction of the game called Andromeda. Thank you for listening and goodbye.